Coming up, we take a look at how you can use your on-premises Windows Server licenses with Software Assurance to deploy Azure Virtual Machines for your workloads using the Azure Hybrid Use Benefit. We'll show you how it works and how it can benefit you as you plan brand new deployments and your cloud migrations. For every Windows Server license you own with Software Assurance, you can now get started in Azure for less. When you spin up a virtual machine in Azure, part of the cost for that virtual machine is the basic cost of compute and infrastructure resources. And the other part is for the Windows Server software license. Now with the Azure Hybrid Use Benefit, your on-prem Windows Server licenses will cover the cost of that IP in Azure. In fact, it'll cover it for two VMs. So what this can mean in practical terms is that for every 100 Windows Server licenses, you can run up to 200 virtual machines with a potential savings of over $300,000 a year based on the popular D3 V2 VM size. Let me show you how you can use this benefit for your new cloud deployments. If I want to deploy a new virtual machine from the Azure portal, I would typically do this right from the compute menu. There are now four different images that support this deployment option. There's Windows Server 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2, and 2016. And the great news is, is that this is now available for any license with software assurance, not just enterprise agreements. Let's get started with the 2016 image. Now, when I click Create, I'm presented with the steps you would typically expect, but we've added a few new items. We'll start with some standard entry items, like the name for the VM, the username, We'll put a password in and confirm that, and then a resource group. Then you'll notice a new option asking if you want to apply the hybrid use benefit. You also need to confirm that you have the right licensing coverage for the VM you're creating. Now, when we click to the next step, you'll notice that the quoted prices are just for the base compute rate of the VM and not the full cost of the Windows Server VM. Now, if you compare this to what the cost would have been without the hybrid use benefit, you'll see that the savings can be up to 40% or more. Now let's go back to our VM that we're creating, and we'll select this one. We'll click Next. On the third page, we're just going to accept the default options. And then on the summary page, you'll see a message that confirms your application of this benefit for this VM. And it's really just that easy. Now let's take a look at how you can use the Azure Hybrid Use Benefit to migrate existing workloads into Azure. And the best tool for this scenario is Azure Site Recovery, which is actually free for the first 31 days. It's useful if you want to replicate your VMware, Hyper-V, or AWS-based VMs, as well as physical servers. And you can learn more about ASR at the link below. So here I am in the Azure Site Recovery UI. And you'll note that we have a virtual machine that's already protected and replicating to Azure Storage. Now, before you do the actual migration to Azure, you'll need to select the Compute, Network, and Storage blade. And here we now have the option to activate the Azure Hybrid Use Benefit. Then, when you actually decide to proceed with your failover, the VM is already flagged at that lower price point. And that's it. So as you can see, whether you're doing new cloud deployments or migrating existing workloads, the Azure Hybrid Use Benefit can help you get started with cloud computing while leveraging your existing investments in Windows Server. You can learn more at the link below. Thanks for watching.